West Hollywood with John Taffer from Bar Rescue, Spike TV. Dave and I are going to run our own bar and have John tell us what we're doing wrong. So the competition is cooking, making a drink for John, and uh, we told him to hold nothing back. May the best man win. I think I'll probably end up owning this restaurant. We're at Barney's Beanery, by the way. We'll probably own it. By the and we help. And we help. And we help. So, may the best man win. And the worst fall. Let's do it. Game on. Uh, Worked here 30 years ago. Really? In this kitchen? In oh, the front, in, bar in the bartender. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. And, uh, when do we put the fries in? No, no, you can't. Can you ask questions like that? Can he ask questions like that? Can we do this? What I'd like to do, if you don't mind, uh -huh. so I'd like this all to be separated, so that you handle them separately. Oh, I was put on the gloves, of course. No, no, but I'm better. Let's just, if I can, can you take another plate? Sure. Okay. Uh -huh. But we can do a small one. I'll put the burger on a separate plate. Right, so you're on your own, yep. he's on his yep. own, okay. everything yep. is separated. Yep. Yep. So this starts with how you handle the plate, how you handle everything, right? I don't think you were going to put gloves on if I didn't say that. I was going to request gloves, actually. See? See, you played your hand, man. Yep. That's okay. I, you know what? You know what, John? I wanted everyone to be safe. Bullshit. I did. I wanted Bullshit. everyone to be safe. You played your hand. <laughs> I was going to ask for gloves. You gonna tell him how to season it now too? No, I'm not. I just wanted everyone to be safe. He, he's he's an excuse machine, which we'll find during the course of this day. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, okay, just pick up that burger, throw it on that plate. Okay. Okay, come on, put it on that plate. Not with the same hand. Now what are you gonna do? You use two hands on the burger. You could have used one. Why didn't you use the utensil? Now throw the glove away. You got raw meat all over the glove. You got to start all over again. You can't even move a burger from one place to another without screwing it. This isn't a rectal exam. This is a bar. Let's go. People are waiting. I mean, there's two guys here. He could step up. He's just laughing. Separate all this stuff. What are you touching over here? Did you touch no the burger? Did not even come close to touching it. Okay, you ready? Fresh gloves. Burger is separate. Your burger is separate. Where's your bun? Here's your bun. All right, guys, we got everything separated. You're going to cook, you're going to assemble the burger. Then I'm going to taste the burger. Look at me. I want my burger medium rare. Not rare, not medium, medium rare. Little blood, little red, little pink. Thank you. Got it? Right, yeah. Let's go, right. guys. Go to it. All right, so we have two unseasoned burgers going on the grill. Huh? Yep. When are you going to season them, guys? Tomorrow? Right now. now you're going to get seasoning all over the grill. The seasoning is going to burn. It's going to get into the burger. Keep it on the burger. It's all in the middle. Nice spread. Spread. Treat it like... Uh, okay, let's save a little burger with that spice. I don't, I don't like the seasoning. Oh yeah, so he's, still, he's building a little mountain of pepper in the middle of the burger there. You see that? Oh, perfect. Now let's move along. All right, now he has raw meat on that hand. Change the glove. <laughs> I saw that. All right, this is a stomach disease waiting to happen here. Let's go. How's the burger cooking? We have a spat on. All right, you each got that? What are you doing? Let's go, guys. Do your thing. Season it on the other side. Equal side seasoner, I see. Well done. I like the chef's hat, guys. It makes you look professional, at least. Oh, so you're going to copy me now? Is this the same stuff? Do you know what you're putting on there? No, so I'm going to put nothing. Did you taste it? No, I'm not going to put well, it I'm in. I'm glad you told me that, because you just put cinnamon sugar on your burgers. I didn't put it on there. You don't like cinnamon sugar? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> But it could have been, that's my point. You're not going to You want close. grilled onions on, the, on your burger? I just want a regular hamburger just the way it is on a plate with cheese. You want the cheese melted? That's the cheeseburger. Hamburger is no you cheese. You want the cheese melted on the ha cheeseburger? Hamburger is no cheese. I do. So okay. you want a cheeseburger? Of course I want the cheeseburger. Okay, so not a hamburger. Are you going to toast my bun? Yes. I expect my bun is to be toasted. You know what I'm saying, guys? Absolutely. Now you got to get that bun toasted and you're going to blow it. Come on, guys. If your timing isn't right, you're going to blow the thing. Are you going to turn that burger again? 
Yeah. Oh, I'm, are you? Well, then put the damn cheese on it so it melts. Are you going to turn that again? Yes. Okay, well, then you better get the cheese on it when you're done because you only have so much time to melt it. Let's go. So you don't care about the toasted bun? No, I'm not ready. I wasn't there. Exactly my point. He wasn't there, was he? No. Nope. You were there, weren't you? Absolutely. So there's okay. no hometown cooking right now. No, there's no hometown cooking. Let it be known. He said before the start of that, I'd never seen the show. Was that a fact or is that a fact? Just something that shouldn't have come it, out. It was, a, it was something that I thought needed to be said. All right, guys. How you doing here? Start cooking. Gee, I wonder what this is. You know what that is? It puts butter. Ah, yeah. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Buddy your buns, buddy. Welcome to my world. Come on, guys. This is not exactly a symphony, you know what I mean? All right, we got a burger up there. I got to tell you, it looks like it's cooked to temperature. Set it on the bun. I'd like to see a little more color on that, but that's what it is. Leave it alone. How are you going to present it? Is that the way you're presenting it? Does that plate look good to you? <laughs> you know, look at this. I just hold your hands up for me. It's like, you know the guitar player Django Reinhardt? He only had three fingers. <laughs> this is how you cook with three fingers. It'd be a lot better. You had five fingers, man. You could increase your finger productivity by 40%. Okay, is that the way you're presenting your burger? I need another bun. Why? Because my juice is leaking all over the bun. There's no, there's no do-overs. Now what are you going to do when you get the new bun on it? Now the burger's going to be cold, isn't it? I, I, right? reheat, I reheat it quickly for a second. Are you going to throw it in the microwave? No, on the grill. So you're going to take the burger and put it back on the grill and reheat it. You think it's going to be, and when you get it to temperature, you think it's going to be medium rare? I don't know. Look at this bun. Disgusting. No? Look at yours. Same deal, buddy. All right, let's, so how are you going to present it to me? Let's go. So I get no fries? I don't get any onion rings? Too late. Too late. Those are never, he's just going to waste fries now. Too late, guys. Too late. So, why don't you say, you know what? Yeah, the fries come on the side, buddy. And start cooking them and put them on another plate. Get the burgers out there. Let's go, this, right? Get those fries cooking. I'm going to taste these burgers in a minute. Don't touch it, though. Leave the plates exactly as they are. Okay, we got fries cooking. Fries are cooking is out. You blew the fries in the burger timing, but I'm going to give you that because neither of you picked up on it, so you both blew that. Let's start with the plate. How's that look? I I I, I just asked you a question. How did it look? Not good. Looks like shit, right? Not good. Looks greasy, doesn't it? It adds to the grease perception of the product, right? Yeah, right. Lowers your perception of the quality of the product, right? Yes. I haven't even tasted it yet. You blew it. Okay. This one. Doesn't look greasy, does it? You blew it. All you have to do is move that bun over there. Has a better look, doesn't it? No, I think it looks like a mess. Really? You think that this looks better than that? I'd like, I, when I get my burger, I like it all on one thing all at once. That's how I like it. Well, then you're a fast food guy. Because in a restaurant business, you fill a plate. So you put a garnish there, etc., right? He at least filled his plate. You sent out a burger in the middle of the plate with nothing on it. So visually, this creates more value. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you sent out an empty plate. He at least had the foresight to present it. You threw a burger on the plate, brother. So when it comes to presentation, winner. Point one. Next, let's take a look at the burger. You assembled it nicely. I happen to not like onions on my burgers. So you were very presumptive, weren't you? You put that onion on my burger, whereas he gave me the option. And you laid it with the tomato on my cheese, man. Now it's contaminated. What if I was allergic to tomatoes? What I if I hated that would tomatoes? Have been in order. If you're allergic to tomatoes, wouldn't you have said that with the order? Served on a side, isn't it? In a typical restaurant. See, fast food, you would do that. I'm just sharing this with you. So you took away my option. So, when I look at... Are, we, are you talking to me here? Are you doing your No, I'm cooking you okay. fries. Okay. I wanted to cook you fries. Sorry. So, 
when it comes to presentation, I'm giving it to him for those two reasons. Make sense? So, looks nice. Your garnish is nicely laid out. I like to play the ketchup. You can think of that. Burger looks okay. I mean, it's not particularly beautifully dressed or anything, but it's okay. Don't they so, have ketchup on the tables? You're assuming they have ketchup on the tables. I'm just saying. Do you know that? I would assume at an establishment like this, there's ketchup on the grill. Really? Well, you assumed that I assumed. was well presented too, didn't you? I thought it was. I, I understand the point. Yeah, the whole assuming gig doesn't work it's here. Not, you know it's what I'm not working. Right. I hear you. So, so this you black over here. Right? Do you want your fries? Okay, so yes, I do. Okay. So now what I'd like to do? Are they ready? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna. That's gonna be minus one. I okay. I made fries, so. Oh, he's touching with his hands. Yeah, I didn't touch. I didn't touch any raw touched. meat. No, 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 no. You don't touch. Look at me. Look at me. You take the thighs. What was that answer? I didn't touch any raw meat. And of course, those. You thongs touch your burger with his hands. That and your thong. We'll get we we'll get there in a minute. The thongs. Typically is what you would use, but you would never touch raw product with that, right? right. It would be kept in a separate yeah. location. Okay, now let's get a knife out here. Actually, I can use. Do we have a knife handy? The moment of truth. That's a medium burger. A little red in the center, but that's a medium rare, rare burger. Pink, not red. It's on the rare side, but it is medium rare. Because it's not that. red in the center. Nicely cooked burger. And I've got to tell you, cooking a burger to this temperature that is thinner like this, is not easy. you got to time it right. So well done. You ready? That's a well done burger. That's not. Well, that's medium. That's correct. How did I order it? Medium, medium rare. rare. I cooked the medium You even burger. looked at me and said... Pink center, right? I, I, I can. I'll tell you the truth. That's a medium rare. Mine's medium. Okay, so if I bit into that burger, first of all, see how dry it is. Okay. Juiciness. You remember when you said that there should be juices? Now. This is what happens when you cook it right. So for pre presentation, I'm giving it to you. For preparation, I'm giving it to you for the plate. And for cooking, I'm giving it to you. And for taste, I'm doing it from the middle because I want to see if you guys over-seasoned it. I definitely didn't over-season mine. Yeah, but I cooked mine correctly. Honestly, this just sucks. It just does, you know, it's, a, it's interesting. What you did is, you overcooked it so the juices were all around the sides of the burger. And somehow you picked up the grease, even though the burger is dry. You know what I'm saying? And you can see the dryness of it. This one just cooked better. And you can see the juiciness. Look at the difference, guys. Right? So you like your burgers all together. Do you like them dry? No, I don't like them dry. Is my assessment fair? I think his plate was more professional. I his burger. Yes or no? His, I don't know. Professional. He had a better cook. Burger. Answer the question. Was his plate more professionally presented? I guess, in your opinion, yes. Okay. Was his preparation better by putting the varnishes separately? That's not how I like it. But you can do it that way. You took away my right not to do it. In a restaurant business, which is better? Is. Bingo, point two. Point three, is your burger cooked to temperature? No. Okay, you win in every conceivable element. Okay, not only did you win, but you didn't have to change your gloves. He did. You got to use all ten fingers. You were down to about six. Can I add one point? He touched your food with his bare hands. When? You, I mean, they're fries that you don't have. No, you moved all Wait, this you don't have fries. You don't, even have fries. you don't even have fries. You don't even have fries. I never touched anything with my Okay, bear. well, then I didn't see that. But if he did, then in sanitation. But I'll give him this. He, he didn't touch any raw product with those hands. 
So in theory, had you washed your hands before you put your Absolutely gloves on? Absolutely did. Now we're doing and in theory. Pirelled. Hold on. Now, now we're doing in theory though. Yeah, I pur pirelled so, them on the way in. Okay, so you get the sanitation beat. You point. get the other three. One points. Three that's, points. That's a ridiculous point you just pulled out. I made the decision. Man. Okay, all right. I made the decision. Okay. You don't even realize how close you were to getting shot. But shut I've got to tell you something. If I didn't open my mouth, you would have never changed your gloves. Your sanitation would have sucked, and you would have gone down right then and there. Would you? So I just took your sanitation point away from you. Three zip. End of discussion. That's how it works. That's how Taffer rolls. He doesn't. He doesn't pull punches. You can't do. You can't play games with him. You, can you just give have points to. And take them you away. have to cook you, the best burger you, you can. Get, give. You can give points and take he them away. He just did. Guys, you're gonna make me a drink. What look are you gonna use? I'm using absolute. So you're using vodka. Correct. Okay. Why did you choose vodka? Uh, that's. I just created a specialty drink for you, and I really want you to try it. And it's made with vodka. Correct. What liquor are you using? Malibu. So you're using rum. Yep. Spiced rum. Yep. Okay. Yep. And, and you chose that because? Because we're in Weehoo, and I want nice, fruity, tropical. I want to take you away. I want to make you think you're on vacation. Gotcha. So you're, you're, you're doing like a festive kind of drink. Yes. What's your concept for your cocktail? Uh, my concept is basically taking your personality into a drink. Ooh, I want to see that. All yeah. right, guys, let's go to it. All right. All right, we got two glass mixing cups. Uh, yeah, hold it. I couldn't even let you do that. If you scoop that with the glass and the ice breaks in there, what's ice and what's glass? Can't tell, can you? No, I won't be able to tell. What would you have to do? Empty the ice. Whole darn thing. Or wash it out and refill it again. This is the worst no-no you can possibly have in the bar business. Where's the ice scoop? Now, it wasn't there. I give you that, but you should have known. Right? You looked at me and said you're going to run a bar. You didn't say you were going to try to. You said you were going to run it. That's a serious hazard. Okay? Next element is your hands are all over that glass. Now your hands go through the ice. Ice is not cold enough to kill bacteria. You could have gotten somebody sick, and that would make you an asshole. It wouldn't just make you irresponsible, would it? No. So when you touch this stuff, understand it's a responsibility, and you must be safe. You tried to bust him on moving some lettuce with his bare hand, and you're putting glass in an ice bin with your bare hand. Let's start over again. There are a lot of things that would have had to happen to get to that point, but uh, the point is taken. I Wait a second. I won't, Wait a I won't second. do that again. I was going to be gentle. There's not a lot of things that would, it would have, have had to, to break. Happen. Yes, but it does break. You want to play those odds? No, I, I'm not going to make that Playing those again. odds would make you foolish, wouldn't it? I'll go farther. It would make you a moron. I mean, anybody who puts that in hoping it's not going to break would be a fool, wouldn't they? I suppose. Okay, thank you. Playing, Let's do this, guys. Playing with people's lives. This is serious, guys. Let's do it right. Now he's scared shitless. No, I just wanted to be careful. I'm playing with people's lives. I mean... Thank you very much. All right, do this for me, guys. Keep the mixing cups in the front. The reason why you do that is so the customer sees what you're doing. Make sense? Yep. Also, every time you pick that up and turn with it, if the other bartender walks by and bumps into it, it goes flying. So you always want to keep this here for safety and so the customer sees what you're doing, okay? Next, are you going to mix drinks? Are you going to shake yours? I hadn't gotten that far in my okay. brain. Okay, well then we'll see what happens. Go for it, guys. Oh, this is working out well. Look at the flow. Product is flowing. We're moving along here. This is what I would call kicking ass right now. Smooth, confident. Look at him, he's walking like it. Okay, he's got his Malibu. All right, he's got his Malibu. Look at confidence on his face. I'm very happy. All right, let's go for it. You're just frozen. No, I got it. I know what I'm doing. Okay, how much did you put in there? I counted it. What'd you count to? Three. That's not announced in there. That's just not announced here, man. I know my stuff. Thank God. Do it again. Dump it out and do it again. Look at me. One, two, three. I knew it was three, I just... One, two, three. Okay, you're cutting some fruit back there. Yeah. Okay. Your hands all over them? Yeah. Okay, did you wash them before you did it? Yep, you're okay. out. Okay. 
What are you going to do when you're done? With the fruit? Yes. Eat it? No, you're going to wash your fucking hands. That's what you're going to oh, do. Oh, okay. All right, what are you doing? You put your bounce in there? Yeah, I, I just did the thing. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Yep, yep. Mm. Try to keep it in the glass, will you? A little nervous. It's like a wild pitch with you, man. I'm a little nervous. This whole thing's like a wild pitch, you know what I'm saying? A little okay, bit. Okay, so what'd you put in there, orange juice? Uh, no, that was grapefruit. So my personality is sour grapefruit. Is that what you're telling no, me? No, we're getting there. There's a lot of different things. So you're, you're an onion, and I'm peeling back the layers. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's yeah. see what happens okay. I'm not sure about little, the layer. A little here. Red Bull. A little Red Bull. You got a little spice to you? Gotcha. I need little the energy. energy. Is that what you're saying? A little I'm too energy. A little energy. But ultimately, you got a sweet center. Grenadine. Okay, so what we got there is we got some rum in that glass. We got some strawberries sitting on top. We got a pineapple over there. Do we have any cranberry juice or uh, fruity juice of any sort? Yeah. River is in the gun. Oh, in the gun. Perfect. Re glass up. Glass up. I mean, he just elbowed another bartender. Look at this. This is how a girl shakes a shaker. <laughs> All right. Now what are you going to do with it now that you shook it? Boy, this isn't going so well. You serving this drink on the rocks? How old are you? <laughs> there any strainers? <laughs> Give me the thing. I can't look at this anymore. I'm going to tell oh, oh, you. Wait. Oh, wait. Can I have a strainer? Thank you. I guarantee you this drink is awesome. I guarantee you this drink is awesome. Okay, so. That's that's a great drink. Okay, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to garnish it? Or am I going to get a straw? What am I going to do? Finish right, the drink not, and put yep, it out I'm there. Not. What's in there? Talk to me. So, oh. I know what's in there. What's in that one? Talk to me. What we have is some Malibu, some yep. cranberry juice, yep. uh, fresh strawberries, yes. and pineapple. Okay, now what are you going to do with that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I love a little like uh, umbrella to put in it, but I don't know that they have that, but I'm gonna just give it to you, you can drink it and say okay. it's great. Okay, fine, then do, do what you're gonna do and put it out in the bar and serve okay. it. With coasters. Product placement. You gonna sing and dance for me too? Okay, now let me just share a couple of things with you. Hey, this was shaken. Got a nice foamy head on it. Got a nice look to it, doesn't it? Huh? What makes a balanced cocktail? You've heard me say it on Bar Rescue, remember? No, you don't fucking No, I do, I do. It's, it's you got to balance the acidity and uh, the liquor. And? One, th one more thing. Sweet? Yes. So a balanced cocktail isn't too sweet, isn't too sour, isn't too much alcohol. You balance those three things, okay? So that's what I'm going to consider when I taste this. A, is it balanced? And then how does it taste? Okay. Okay? It's a little weak in alcohol, actually. The proper ratio should be about one part alcohol to three parts mix. It actually has a nice flavor to it. And, and I want you to be honest. It has a nice flavor to it, but it doesn't quite have enough kick. Taste it. Yep. And give them an honest assessment of it. So too, I, I don't love grapefruit juice, mm -hmm. um, and I would say if I was a patron that he put no alcohol in the screw. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's weak in alcohol, but the basic flavor yeah. isn't bad. Right, right. So yeah. take a taste. Yeah. I think it's a great drink. Well, I think you blew it, and I'll tell you why. If it was too sweet, that's one thing. If it was too sour, that's one thing. When it doesn't have enough alcohol in it, it's going to come back at you every time. Mm -hmm. And that's the issue that I have with this, is I would have preferred you made it too sweet or too sour than too weak. Make sense? Yep. I can also I, would have freaked out if it was too strong. No, you can't do a thing to yours. Now, let me tell you what's wrong with yours. Chunks of strawberry. So what am I going to stick my hand in there and pull this out? No, no. It's just to give it to flavor. So I don't get to eat them. At the end, like a, bon like a sherbet, the rocket pop. And then what do I the do end. with the ice? So I spit out the ice and then until I get down to the strawberry? I'm He's sure. not a dog. He doesn't eat ice chips. I'm sure something. Where's your mixing cup? Now I might have used fresher ice because you can break up the strawberries. Give me a rocks glass. Right there. Put some ice in it.
garnish it with a strawberry. That's what you were trying to do, isn't it? Is that fair? Yeah, no, that's fair. Okay, now, I'm going to have you tell me. How is it? Is it balanced? The only possible complaint you could have is it's not enough alcohol. Other than that, it's absolutely spectacular. You know, it's got a really good flavor to it. Yeah, try, try. yeah it is. It's and a, give an honest assessment. It's got a nice, it's a spectacular taste. In it's got it's a beginning. Too sweet. You don't like it? It's got yeah. a beginning and an it's end too to sweet. it. Too sweet. That's a uh, the taste is. Here's good. my question though, John. I wanted to taste Dave's drink. You just made this drink for him. He didn't do step two and three. That's correct. So hope that that's my drink. You just let should. me assess this. Okay. So I'm going to give you the final analysis. Okay. So when I look at him. He prepared the drink correctly. He went for the shaker on his own, strained it, gave me a nice frothy, nicely colored drink. It was weak. Now, whether I like grapefruit juice or not, if you put that on the menu, it would say grapefruit juice. It's the big so, John Taffer. So if I ordered it, it would be okay. It's a little sweet for me, but I gotta tell you, I liked the, the, the way you put it together. And out of a 10 points, I'd give you six. And the only reason why I'm not giving you eight is because you blew it on the booze. Okay. Okay, so you're starting at eight, because you blew it on the booze too, right? So when I look at yours, I'm taking two points away from you because you're low on liquor also. So I'm at a six, you know what I mean? No, no you're, you're at an eight. eight. Okay, all right. right. He's down to a six, okay. he lost two all other right. points. Now when I look at you, the fact is you really blew it. You should have shaken it or done something with it. The strawberries in there don't make sense. If the strawberries were on a toothpick or on the top of the glass, it does. The fact of the matter is you would have had customers doing this or asking you for a fork, and you've seen this at bars, or spending an hour doing this trying to get the strawberries out. What about out? Like sangria, though? The fruit is in the sangria. That was that's kind of going for the... Yeah, but that's wine. That's not a cocktail. Sangria is a cocktail, no? <coughs> sangria is wine. When you look at mixology, yeah, and right. you came back here representing yourselves, guys, you were going to do this for me professionally. Again, you're the loser, and here's why. And he's not the winner. You're okay. the loser. There's a difference. Because you couldn't do this win, either. I don't really right. You yeah. couldn't do this either, but you had a greater respect for procedure and how to do it. But whose drink was better tasting? Yours. But that's, he doesn't like grapefruit. But it doesn't matter. Your drink sucks. Hold on. It doesn't matter. Because the fact of the matter is, I don't mind the flavor of either. I'm just evaluating it for balance. It doesn't matter, because that's not your drink. That's my drink. Well, in all fairness, you didn't taste my drink. Of course I didn't, because I didn't want to. It sucked. That's it? That's my drink? Tasty drink, but still, it looks like shit. I can't do that. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm telling you. You're asking me which drink I prefer. Right, as a professional who's done this for 30 years, I prefer his because he went through the procedure right. As a guy, if you blindfolded me and asked me to taste the two drinks, I'd favor yours. Okay, I can live with that from a flavor standpoint. I can live with that. So Point the name. fact is, your cocktail concept was pretty good. Thank you. So was yours. Thank you. So I'm going to give you equal in creativity. I'm going to give it to him on production. I'm going to give it to you on flavor. Okay. And I'm going to till say at the end of the day, because I'm an operations guy and he respected procedure, I'm still going to give him the edge. So, I'm, so you're bummed. So the fact of the matter is, this is a more professional cocktail than this one. But nobody's going to be talking about that drink outside this bar. This may get some buzz in return customers. That's fair. You know, when it comes like to taste, you know, the grapefruit juice was okay. We can I tinker mean, with the it. The Red Bull yeah. was okay. This was a little more unique. No, I, I agree, but I, I think added, I added, put all of your... You think you did. Yeah. At the end of the day, that doesn't mean shit. At the end of the day, which one tastes better? At the end of the day, this right, one but tastes the a little better. But the problem is, Look, I just, guy. you guys said to me you were going to run a bar. Yeah. You acted like a rookie. Playing with stuff in a glass. Yeah. He acted more like a professional. I can live with that. And, and, and that's I'm like my an point. artist. I'm an artist. Yes. It's like so, I'm one of those so, weird so guys. So I'm going to give him the flavor so of the cocktail. Yeah. Me, like, I'm giving create. you the. I'm giving him the professionalism. What, what yeah. you're saying okay. is being an operations guy, yeah, right. I gotta give the professionalism the win. Ultimately, that's just my soul. Yeah, yeah, on. Right, right, ultimately, but as an operations no. guy, you may have to hire the. No, yeah, guy. yeah, that's Let ultimately what's happening. I'm going to hire you. You know what? Work for me. You know what I would say? I would say it's a great cocktail. Let's take this. And let's turn it into something great. Yeah, right. You know, right. let's add maybe some strawberry puree to it when we shake it. Let's do this. Let's do that. Maybe we can get some more color into it. And I would take the concept and turn it into something cool. We could do the same with yours. Okay. But at the end of the day, that's a little more unique. 
Okay, so you can you can work at my yeah, bar. Yeah. You can work at my bar. No, I'll I, let you work. I'm, I'm a mixologist, and, and I wouldn't quite go that far. I'll give you this. You're creative. Thank you. That's that's a You're win. I, I won the and day. Honestly, no. in my <laughs> business, you can learn operations, but ideas generate millions of dollars. Do you hear that? that? I give you that. So, so we need a, a winner of the day, right? Yeah. I got to tell you, he wins. Uh, no, no, he wins because the fact is, he went at this more procedurally correct. The way he cooked, the way he presented, the way he handled the burger. And I know you give me that. He went at it more procedurally correct here. I've, so I'm going to give him the win as a bar manager because that's a professional category. Right. However, I'm going to tell you, you're one creative guy. And, and there's an energy that you have that would be valuable to me or any business. Thank you. So this loss is not a loss. It's a category. It's a, yeah, it moves it's a, you as an operations right. guy. It moves you to a creative kind you of guy. You should work for Honestly, no, you're an operations guy. Honestly, I think you both won today, guys. Yeah. I think this was cool. I know I did. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know I did. But just... For my own professionalism, I gotta say, you also both fucking lost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. I mean, yes. Yeah, correct. No, we all right. Yeah. <laughs>